Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 25 of the Sky 5 Complete LP. So, in the uh, in the interim, I didn't do any like worlds or anything, I just went to the uh, Kara world. I upgraded Usalia's uh, weapon proficiency, or no, I upgraded uh, Serafina's gun proficiency from A to S rank, and then I increased Zerokin's movement from 8 to 9. So now you can move 9 spots, which is really nice. Because even kill you can't do that. So that is awesome. I'm not sure if I can improve any further, but I just wanted to get into this into this episode. So uh So that that's <laughs> let me just touch it a little. That's <laughs> With no context, that that sounds dirty, and I'm guessing that's the point. Come on, it's not like you're gonna lose it. No, it's no. If you keep bugging me, then I'll triple your rent. So I that sexual harassment is wrong, because Christo probably came in and was just like, okay, uh, I would just want to touch Sis's cell phone, because you know, cell phones are. If you like, phones have always been in Disgaea. It's just still so weird to me that they have them though, because I don't know. They have magic. And I think that would kind of, they have portals where they could just go to other worlds instantaneously. But you need cell phones. Don't you have a cell phone to Christo? Why don't you let him touch yours? What? No, that's... <laughs> I just want to download a game and spend a crap ton of in-game money. <laughs> that's... That's great. It's like, man, I don't, I don't even want to call anyone. I just want to play a game and waste money. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so what's this other conversation going? Hey, Salia, you know how uh, you usually say plip in your lines? Does everyone from Toto Bunny do that? Not quite. I believe it's Salia and... Okay, so it's only her and the yellow pretty that say plip, which is... And all the rabbits. The rabbits do say that. Uh, no, there, there's not a reason in particular. <laughs> By saying plip in your lines, you have cuteness appeal, plip. And that that's like a, uh, a rip-off of the printy rules. Uh, by saying plip in your lines, you, you can express a rabbity feel, plip. And that's that's probably a more uh, Japanese-ism, where it's just like, okay. Reason number three, number ten, number thirty. <laughs> All these aspects I can secure the position of mascot character for myself. So it's like having an awareness like, oh yeah, I'm the cutest character, I'm the mascot character. <laughs> Cause she isn't dumb. She's pretty smart. Truly a demon in those aspects. I'm just joking. I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> so that, that that's it. You get to see uh, a side that we have seen prior, but it has never been super explored. It's like, oh yeah, like, she is actually really smart. <laughs> like, by no means is she a dumb character. Me? Um, I don't really have all that much. Because I, I still don't have enough, uh... I could increase these. Because I don't really use them all that much, and it would just be good to upgrade them. Because I still don't want to, like... Because even though I have, like, 4,600 uh, SP, I still don't want to have, like, multiple hundred... Like, I... I just don't feel comfortable having uh, like moves that cost so much. Like using 640, if I were to upgrade this again, for of course it is a combo move. It's going to be really powerful, but I still don't want to do that. Oop! Almost almost bumped that up to 480. I mean, it would be S class, but. But the thing is, I don't really plan on using it all that much, so. What would be the point? There wouldn't. It was a rhetorical question. Uh, I could get Heart Ensemble, which is her version of the uh, Kilia combo move. Um, I mean, I guess I can raise these to be, be better. And she got Top Shot. I forget. I keep forgetting about Top Shot. I need to use it because I haven't even seen it. Like I haven't. I haven't looked at it, so I'm curious. 
I am really curious. Gonna enhance this, enhance that, because these are magic change moves, so um, I feel less, uh, I feel like I can be a little bit more uh, forward about uh, how much I want to put into them. It's like I'm probably not gonna be using them a lot. It's broken. See, your, your moves just aren't even super costly, which is nice. And I do really want to do this move with Killia. Because this move is one where I am fine with bumping up the cost of it a little bit. Of course, I am still on Zorok, and I have to remember that, because they don't split the SP cost. It's all on the person who's using the move. And that's Let's a really important up. aspect of it. Okay. So, took care of those. I just like to save. It's actually kind of calming, because it doesn't take a lot of time. It's just really quick. It's like, oh, save, save, save. There's absolutely no downside. Like, if there were long load and save times, then I'd kind of be like, uh, well, I gotta save in case the game crashes. But otherwise, now it's just like, boom. Get save instantaneous. And I could turn autosave on, so like every time I enter the, like I come out of a world, it autosaves. But I save enough, like habitually, that... I feel like it makes up for it. Where would so, you like to go, dude? Let us go into Scorching Flame to take care of probably the second to last world. Or map. Because we're in the world. The digital world. My, my. I'm surprised a muscle head could have emotional sensitivities. Why would you say something that'll only pour more fuel on the fire? Because I'm a demon! As well as a temptress. <laughs> Ooh, Salia is cheering you on, Flip! If you hit rock bottom, then the only direction to go is up! Let's change your mindset! That's right, old man Magnus. Feeling down doesn't suit you. I'm heading out now, Red Magnus. While you're stuck here, staring at the ground, Void Dark is absorbing Scorching Flame's energy. Whether you're coming with me or not, I'm gonna free this Netherworld from his clutches. If Bro's leading the way, that means you have to follow him, right? Old man, I know you understand, no matter how insensitive you are. <laughs> Red Magnus knows what you're doing, you meddlesome jabronis! Okay, so now we get to see yeah. Jerokin's nine movement. Oh yeah, this is real nice. See, I, but I need to have someone else up here so I can throw them over. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going this long and twisted road on the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Yeah, yeah. Um, because they Let's also go. have to have a decent jump as well. Um, how is your jump is probably second to? Would she? She might be able to make it up. Yes! I'm not sure though. Can you pick someone up from that distance? No. Um. And you're. Uh. You, whatever. You. Even if they can't come down, at least they'll probably funnel because of their Let's go. AI. Um, <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Plop him down right there. Hellfire shot. All men are my servants. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do yeah. the let's do top shot right here. Um, but first, gotta gotta take care of this. Gotta gotta make sure all the things are where they're supposed to be. Fortunately, the combo skills are up here. I wish they just didn't appear until you were able to use them, <laughs> like you were in the right position. Okay. You guys, Red Magnus, you're sitting out because I don't like you. Like, th that's where it's gotten to that at this point. Just like, I don't like you. 
So you're not fighting in this battle. No fire shot. A cop shot. I forget what this one looks like. Oh, it's a it's a jet. I feel like how you can see uh, the windshield, like the glass part, uh, Seraphina's hair and bunny ears stuck out of it. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> that implies that the character who uses the move dies. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, yeah, this should be good, because everyone else doesn't really have the movement speed to get through it as fast as I would like them to be able to. Which kinda sucks. Ah, okay, so I see. The wrestler throws the people over. That way they can attack on here. I wonder if one of the wrestlers will throw the other one. I should probably get Asalia some That's what you moves. get for doing that to me. Okay, so this is good because... He guns. He uses guns, which puts him at a big advantage, in this case. Um, unfortunately, she can't... Oh yeah, she can just do that. Uh, one out does... Ah, damn. You know what? Uh, screw you, demon. I am just going to cheat the system. Except I'm not going to. Because his throw range is abysmal. Can I just kill you with him? No? Too weak? Damn it, Krista, why are you so not good? Percival. Percival! Okay, and I'm just going to move him here. <laughs> so that way he doesn't get hit. And let's see another combo move. Huh? So, as you can probably understand, everything involving right Seraphina has hearts. Uh, everything involving uh, Salia probably has curry involved right in it in some way. Right there. Uh, oh shit, I forgot I moved him. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I just wasted that movement. Okay, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, cool. Now we've gotten to the point where uh, the shortcut is rather pointless. So, right there. my bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Just to use you to take out these guys. Right. So now the, uh, he has one more move than the other. Here but. I go. He's also stronger, so I feel less inclined to kill anybody with him. Because he does not need it. Uh, hard ensemble. Um, I wish I attacked more than one person, but I do want to see what it is. Because I don't think... I think this is the one where we haven't done it yet. No, this is the one where we can do. Um, the one... I wanted to do Cryo Heartbreaker. Because this is the one that we haven't done, I believe. So that was good just to see what the moves looked like. Not for really any other purpose. Um, Sorokin and Kr uh, can you guys do a special move? No. You only have a video holy water. Okay, so I'm gonna try and give Sorokin a head start so he can catch up to the other two. That way he can show off his super cool combo move that he totally uh, is able to pull off on himself. Because, you know, he's competent now. He's the Netherheart Overlord. Um, and Magnus. No, you're still the Scorching Flame. I was really hoping that it would just call him, like, Big Muscle Head Idiot. Because, like, it it's odd. Because are you the Overlord if everyone accepts you as the Overlord? If you're just the strongest person on the planet? It's that type of stuff that uh, curates me. <laughs> That's not a word. Um, let's throw you there. That way, kill you. Let's go. 
You can't do it, but you can. We do holy water. And of course, you know, might as well not waste any time and just attack him. You wanna do it? Let's go! Awoo! Awoo! Ultimate, Ultimate demon, demon technique, technique. Final skill. A video of holy water. Holy water. <laughs> You can tell that they just took the voice lines from the uh, cutscenes because Zerokin says it a lot slower than Kilia does. So he didn't even get a chance to say final skill, he just got fa. <laughs> I wonder if it's better timed in uh, Japanese audio. Because that that was goofy. Where it's like Kilia says the entire thing, Zerokin doesn't say the entire thing because it's just too slow. Because that's one of the moves where they would take a special voice clip out because they have them saying it. Three characters surrender. Awesome. So now we might fight Bledis next? What's yeah. wrong? Ever since you talked to Red Magnus, he's been thinking. Who exactly are you angry at? Your underlings for betraying you? I know I'm dumb. I took a lot of time and thought about why I'm so angry. I super thought about it till smoke started coming out of my ears, but I still couldn't figure it out. I can only figure that this anger is coming from the fact that those guys betrayed me. Is that really the reason? What do you mean? In the Netherworld, betrayal and overthrowings are commonplace. That stuff has always happened. Well, yeah. I've been betrayed a whole bunch of times, and every time I've punished them for it! So what's got you this time? Haven't you punished your former underlings so many times before? Red Magnus, like me, you're missing heart. Heart? You're very similar to the old me. The old bro was just like Red Magnus? What is he talking about? What are you talking about, Plip? I can't believe any ridiculous story that claims Sir Kilia and this musclehead were ever similar. Believe it or not, it's up to you. Kilia, could you help me a little? What are you trying to do? Huh? I don't feel a single bit of magical power coming from you. I don't want someone like that using me. The weak obey the strong. That's how the netherworlds work. If you can't understand that, then do you want me to give you a demonstration? It's true. I hardly have any powers. Compared to my father and brother, I don't have any skills. But Kilia, who is going to make the dinner you're going to eat tonight? Who washes the clothes you wear? Who cleans the house you live in every day? What? Aren't we family? Family helps and supports one another to live out their lives. We cover each other in the areas that the other lacks, so that we can enjoy our lives, and we deepen our bonds. How foolish. It's only common sense that weak serve the strong. It isn't a bond, it's subordination. You're wrong, Kilia. I don't serve you because I'm weak. It's not even serving at all. We help each other of our own free will. Thinking of others and the love of helping them creates a bond. Love? You're a demon. Are you serious? That's just nonsense propagated by the weak. Power is everything. Might makes right. If you don't take it, someone else will. Betray or be betrayed. That line of thinking is very sad. You must have been through a lot. I'm sorry that I don't understand you. Hey, what are you? How is it? Are my hands warm? Kilia, your hands are warm. Do you know why? Because you're alive. Because you're alive, your hands are warm. It's the same way with your heart. A cold heart, a loveless heart. That's equivalent to death. You're just playing word games. 
If I landed a punch on you right now, you would definitely die. Would all that garbage about love and heart protect you from that? Kilia. Red Magnus, I still haven't found the answer to the problem I've been carrying around with me. So I can't tell you what to do. But I want to help as many people who are suffering because of Void Dark as I can. This isn't coming from the side of me that wants revenge. I don't have an answer yet. I could be wrong. But I want to listen to what my heart desires. What will you do? Red Magnus, face your heart. I... I... What... what are you doing, Sarah? I figured I'd take the honor of getting rid of the one person you couldn't forgive because your indecisiveness was annoying me. What? If you're trying to get rid of the person I can't forgive, why'd you shoot me? Who is the person that you can't forgive? Place your hand over your heart and think, Musclehead. Huh. I see. So that's what you mean. Thanks, Sarah. Now I finally know what was bothering me. Did you thank me? I never imagined a monkey brain musclehead would ever show any gratitude. Sorry for all the trouble, guys. Let's go finish this. It's time to put an end to those guys and to my weak heart. So we find out that Elise is a weakling. Like, her dad is Goldion, her brother is Void Dark. <laughs> Two really strong people, Let's fix you up. but she is weak. <laughs> Yet, because she does all the shit that Kilia doesn't do, it's like, well, okay. Like, I guess you're fine. Like, it doesn't really matter, I guess. And then you get that tiny little, like, really quick thing of like, oh, okay, Red Magnus figured out that he couldn't forgive himself because he's a little bitch lord. It's like, ugh. Like, Zoroken had such a better character development story. And he's been our party for a lot, like, shorter amount of time. Because him, he was like, yeah, I was part of, like, the galactic evil that was destroying and killing everything. Okay, so that's something I should feel bad about. And, like, okay, I talked to Goldion, I met him, he taught me shit, and then, like, he was being tortured and whatnot, and I ran away, and I feel bad about that. Okay. Then, it's like, I need to save Goldion, but I can't do a final skill he never taught me. So I need to repress all my demonic qualities, all the negative things, so I could save him. Which is also very impressive. And then he does it. He overcomes it, and then he becomes a netherworld. He, ha he becomes an overlord of a netherworld in his own heart. It's so much more impressive. It's such a better character arc. Then you get Idiot Red Magnus, who's like, I'm really angry because my subordinates totally are in the right to hate me, <laughs> betrayed me, and I don't understand why I'm feeling. And it's like, oh my god. You're just, you're essentially a child. Where are you, Red Magnus? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I want to find you. I believe they're always all out. Where is he? Is Red Magnus not spawned in this version right now? No, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna whack ya. Yeah, get whacked. Oh, you deserve it. You deserve it. And excuse me while I'm just gonna, like, punch slide. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, look at me, look at my moves. Stupid slime, I don't even like you. What? What's going on over here? Uh, I got a complete one, cool. Lovable in the world, awesome. Cool. Do my best. Let's do it, and now there's an overlord, so let's go kill it. Let's go kill this overlord like it's nothing. Let's go! Oh, you're level 192. That's actually impressive. I mean, not good enough. Because you're also a, a weak character type. But that's impressive nonetheless. 
So, uh, you're an overlord? I'm gonna capture your people, because I want them. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take them. They're mine now. Oop, that one's not gonna work. Need to weaken that one a little bit. You guys, let's super go! Yeah, okay. Now I'll be able to capture it. <laughs> Boom. Is Rook and King capture this person? Maybe. Yeah, just kill the Overlord. Capture those two. No, no. Person died, unfortunately. Yeah, Wally. Okay, I captured some people. Good. I forgot to uh, interrogate the people I got from the Netherworld originally, which kind of my bad, but. Uh, I think I could probably still get them all in, like, one turn. But yeah. Capturing them is just nice, because I can level up my squads instead of leveling up my characters. Uh, okay. Yep. And that's good. And now lovable Netherworld is complete, because... Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, another... Okay, so it just says it was fully complete because I had defeated its overlord, and it died. I do like how, like, the fights between us and, and the overlord of another planet are so strong and intense that it blows up the planet itself. I mean, it's kind of sad, regardless. But, I mean, it's still, like, really cool, just that, that, that idea, Shit. that concept of it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Shit. Going in, going through the nether world, uh, the item world, I would have like 30 to 40 people, and it would be like, you're doing like 17,000 damage. And all this stuff, and it's really, it's just fun. Um, I should probably, uh, get some of these people on my team, because they're low level and whatnot, so I can put them in the, uh, so I can put them in the, uh, strategy assembly squad. This is it! Because the high-level ones I want to use to, uh, uh, I want to use to, oh, damn, I can only get some of them, damn. I want to use the higher-level ones as fodder, because I did take the time to, uh, interrogate them, which, like, two and a half times or whatnot, the, uh, yeah, I, I don't know the exact value of, like, how much. Oh, perfect amount. Awesome. So, right now I have the max amount of people in the squad. It's all full. So, and now all I need to do is make sure that the squad will always vote I. Because that's apparently not guaranteed. Which is really dumb, but makes sense in its own weird way. So, now I'm going to drop everything into the Innocent Farm, because Innocent Farm is best farm. Uh, so let's Where go would to you the like to go guide to? and see who we fight at the end. I'm guessing it's probably going to be Ponchos and not Bloodus, because, I mean, we fought Bloodus... Like, for the past, like, two chapters, or three, we found twice, or three times, or whatnot. So I'm wondering who we're fighting this time. That's the magical spear. It looks heinous. A chill runs down my spine just thinking about how it's sucking up energy. Hmm? Aren't those guys over there Ponchos and the others? Yeah, hold on one second, Captain of the Lost Brigade. Uh, no one told us that we'd have to do this on our own. Aren't you guys gonna fight with us? You're the ones who volunteered to eliminate the rebel army yourselves, right? Y yes, we did, but... Then proceed. Retreating will not be allowed. You have only two options. Win and live, or lose and die. But we're up against overlords. To be honest, our strength can't match up against theirs. Purposely avoiding combat is punishable by death. That is your third option. Give up. Whatever choice you make, 
you will eventually be absorbed. How cruel! You guys were planning on sacrificing us from the beginning! Looks like they're arguing. Is this an example of internal strife, Flip? No. The Lost don't consider anyone else to be an ally. They only use others. Most likely, that Poncho's guy probably just found out that they were being used and the Lost have betrayed them. Red Magnus. Kilia, sorry, but can you give me some time to talk to them? Do whatever you want. This is your fight. Huh. Sorry for the trouble. Thanks. Did Red Magnus just apologize? And he saved Kilia too, Blip. That monkey finally learned some matters. Is it a sign of some extraordinary supernatural phenomenon? No, it must be the result of his daily training. Yes, that must be it. <laughs> hey, Ponchos. You look like you're about to cry. What happened? You look pretty pathetic. Shut up. It's your fault that I'm in this situation. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Like you said, it's all my fault. Huh? What are you saying? Ponchos, listen. The Supreme One finally understands why he was so angry this whole time. The Supreme One... No. I... I was angry at myself. For not being able to save Scorching Flame. For sleeping through the battle. For not protecting my underlings. Me. 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 Yes. I couldn't forgive myself. Why didn't I notice that earlier? No. I didn't even try to realize it. It's because I'm pathetic and my heart is weak. What? Are you really Red Magnus? I'm a guy with a weak heart! Ponchos, I only noticed that because of you guys. Because you guys are still alive. Everyone, I'm sorry. Because of my weak heart, I caused a lot of trouble for all of you. But please believe in me one last time. I'll protect you guys with every fiber of my being! Red Magnus has awoken to new power. His overload skill Super Olympia super evolved into Super Universe. Alright. This is my original power! No! I'm feeling even more power than usual! The growth in Red Magnus's heart has awoken a hidden power within him. This is a miracle. <laughs> Great job, old man Magnus! What are you doing just standing around there? If an ordinary muscle head just became a slightly better muscle head, then show us. Yeah! <laughs> Leave it to me! Let's go, you lost jabronis! If you even lay a single hand on Ponchos or the others, I'll burn you guys to ash with my super flames! Okay, so now we have Red Magnus is slightly powered up. He's a slightly better person now. And he refers to himself in the first person. Like a normal human. Or, you know, a normal anybody. Um, well, and he just comes in with full revenge gauge. Which is pretty nice. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, yeah, you guys are... I'm yeah. going to come in. You! Right there! I'm going to throw Fly away. Just into the fray. So Super Universe increased stats by 50 for three turns. Super Universe! I think he's even bigger now. <laughs> like he's not uh, like 
he, he just got really, really big now. She has an even bigger range now. Which is nice. Okay, let's end turn there. I always believed that power was everything. That's why I beat up anyone I didn't like to show my power, whether it was an enemy or an underling. I was selfish and did whatever I pleased. I was being cocky, like I was the best. I thought that's how overlords were. But I was completely wrong. I don't have any right to be an overlord. I'm such an idiot. Ponchos, everyone, I'm sorry. This time, this time, I'll protect all of you! What up? Super! Yeah, Super! It's my turn. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go. Let's just get through it all. Sucky this weapon. I'm guessing it's a gun. Yep. And yeah, he, this dude is dual wielding magic change. Uh, glob fist. Because magic change weapons do have better stats than other weapons, so sometimes it's better to just have a have a magic changed weapon rather than some other ones. Get a spin. I go in. Mega fire. Feeble. Which kind of sucks that they just put down my attack, but she goes off of speed, and so I'm not too worried. Okay. Might as well get that other person. Um, these guys have range, that's why I'm going to attack them first. I'll just pop in here and off this bitch. If only he was slightly stronger. Nope, no chance of that. Um, that's not bad. Yeah. Um, over there, maybe? Yeah, so they're mine now. You are mine. That is how things will be. Link. Flatty dance. Uh, okay, enter. What up? Super! Yeah. Having guaranteed critical is very nice. It's just so awesome. You're resisting? Heartbreaker. I'm guessing that's a succubus magic move. Killer spin. Yeah. Yeah, so Red Magnus is doing insane amounts of damage. Uh, as, as, uh, in this form. So I'll let him get taken out with uh, Super Lariat. Uh, and uh, let's just have Crystal on the field for no good reason. What up? What up? I wonder what else uses that. I mean, it's rather big. Haha. Hey, good job, Red Magnus. You're finally the MVP. Not that I ever wanted you to be. And I'm glad to be done with this chapter, because it is probably one of my least favorite Red ones. Red Magnus, I'm sorry. We... Idiots! I'm the one who should be apologizing. I'm really sorry. I didn't deserve to be called Overlord, let alone the strongest Overlord. Damn it! I'm so embarrassed of my former self! I just want to beat the crap out of him! Are you seriously wet, Magnus? I don't know how to explain it. Because of this sudden change, I feel like I'm in a dream. I'm surprised too! <laughs> See you guys! Live long lives! Wait a minute, Master! Uh, please, take us with you! If it's the new you, you know. We'll follow Master Red Magnus, the Scorching Storm Overlord, wherever he goes. Oh, 
The rebel army just gained more forces. Very well. I'll get the applications. No. You guys aren't capable of handling the combat we're gonna face. I'm sorry, but I can't take you guys with me. But, Master... I have nothing to say to that. But we won't give up. We'll be able to help you one day. <laughs> All right! I'll be counting on you guys when that day comes! Anyway, a power that surpasses an overload. It appears there's a very good reason why he held the title of Overlord of Scorching Flame. Red Magnus looks bigger than usual, Plip. Everyone, sorry for worrying you. I'm all right now. I? Not the Supreme One or Red Magnus? Yeah, I've graduated from using that stuff. I see. You really have changed, Red Magnus. Now I can't call you a monkey anymore. I suppose I'll just have to be content with calling you Musclehead. Yeah, when it comes to muscles, leave it to me. I'll defeat Void Dark and become the super muscular strongest overlord! Those parts haven't evolved at all, old man. I'm amazed. Are you still trying to become the strongest overlord? Yeah, but getting revenge against Void Dark isn't my main reason anymore. I want to rebuild Scorching Flame so that my underlings can have a safe place to be rowdy! And this time, I'll be a real overlord for those guys. A real overlord. I'm sure you can be one now. But there are some things we have to take care of before that. All right! This is the perfect opportunity to show off my super new skill! Overload skill! Super Universe! The time has yet to pass. However, it is starting to run out. Historians agree that at this point in time, there wasn't a single entity that could stand up to Demon Emperor Void Dark. The overlords of Roaring Rampant and Brutal Beast lost one after another, and their once lauded grander netherworlds fell under the control of the Demon Emperor. With no one able to stop the Demon Emperor, despair started spreading throughout the entire netherworlds. It's almost time for the old Netherworld bodybuilding tournament! The favorite, Red Magnus, throws in a couple more sets! But, suddenly an assassin takes my beloved muscles! I have taken your biceps, pectorals, and quadriceps. Now I shall be taking first place! Kia! I look like a shriveled up eggplant! I have no chance of victory! What should Red Magna do? My former friend, Sorokina, has committed a terrible act! But will that snuff out the Supreme One's dream of becoming number one? Next time on Build Act, Episode 10, wake up my muscles! Everyone stay heated and bulk up! That one was To stupid. all of our innocent viewers, I apologize for showing you something inappropriate. <laughs> I do like that one. That, that one, that one's fun. It's just like, yeah, we realized that that one is really stupid and bad. <laughs> Sorry. Red Magnus has conquered the weakness in his heart and awoken a new power. But what about me? Can I really defeat him like this? What? 
Why are you becoming so timid? If you want power, there is an easier way. An easier way? Yes. Unleash me. Don't be stubborn. I won't go back to my former self. I don't intend to ever go back. Why not? Don't you want to be strong? Why do you feel the need to hesitate? I can end everything in an instant. I can destroy all of your problems, worries, and everything else. Whatever I get the impulse to do. You. Do you really want to get revenge? Of course. Really? It doesn't look that way to me. You're just angry. You suffered a pathetic loss and had your possession destroyed in front of you. So you grew indignant. And then you made up the convenient excuse of wanting to get revenge for that girl. But don't you actually want to destroy everything? No. I... What? Am I wrong? I can sense your heart hesitating. Be honest. Your true character is that of one who finds satisfaction in destruction. Tyrant overlord. Nothing more, nothing less. Do yourself a favor. Hurry up and unleash me. I'm always ready. Shut up! My, Sir Kilia, did something happen? You got awfully loud all of a sudden. It, it's nothing. Sorry, but I just need to be left alone for a while. Episode 10, The Memorable Special Sweet Curry. Lord Void Dark, we have taken control of Explocution and the lesser surrounding Netherworlds. Now all of the Netherworlds and Explocution sector are under your control. I see. Great job, Margarita. What? What tremendous praise. My only desire is to make your wish of forming a utopia come true. I, Margarita, will do whatever it takes to carry out any orders you give me. That is a great attitude. Ahem. Now then, Lord Void Dark. I shall notify Demon General Margarita of her new order, Zom. Who are you? I apologize for the late introduction. As his 88th secretary, I shall be assisting Lord Void Dark. I am Duke Zombie, Zom. I am here on behalf of my predecessor, who was used as a guinea pig for the magical spears, Zom. You already know the rest. This corpse talks a lot. I don't like it. So what are my new orders? One of the magical spears that Lord Void Dark launched throughout the Netherworlds was destroyed by the Rebel Army, Zom. The Rebel Army destroyed one of Lord Void Dark's precious magical spears? Then I'll get rid of them immediate- There is no need for that, Zom. Demon General Bloodus is already resolving that situation. Lady Margarita, you will be in charge of defending one of the remaining magical spears, Zom. <laughs> Bloodus again. He always snatches the best parts away from me. Are you unsatisfied with something, Zom? Not at all. I follow every order Lord Void Dark gives to me. Lord Void Dark, I will do anything you ask me to. Whenever you ask of it. For your utopia. Okay, so she chopped down. I got an, another world exterior. Okay, cool. So, now that makes me wonder, like, what is uh, his utopia? What's, apparently, like, what's Void Dark's greater scheme? For getting all the energy 
essentially destroying netherworlds uh and all that like what what's his what's his plan what's his goal i'm actually interested um and we saw some uh internal strife with himself Kilia. like his, his, the Kilia question mark being like dude you you just want to destroy shit like hey like, you, you don't need to be doing all this just let me go and i'll i'll take care of it right i can i can kill everybody don't worry about it man i got you um so what let's check out the research uh, all ongoing and let's check out interrogation Anybody knew? You yep, we got a couple shit. people. You little shit. Forgot that I captured something. You shit. Okay. Um, I don't need to solicit them anymore. Awesome. So I will sacrifice them to the squad gods. Boop, boop. And. I am going to end this episode here. We will start again with a conversation, and then we will see where we need to go in this chapter. So, Buddy Bison signing out, and I will see you all in episode 26, where things probably start to pick up a little bit more, and we learn about, apparently, this memorable, special, sweet curry. So, I hope you all... Have a very nice day.